remind me the case of Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury and Wilder. He confessed what he believed and the manifestation of the spirit happened. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He gave glory to Jesus, which is rare among the athletes. Masturbating seven times a day. <laughs> seven, seven, seven times? Seven times. Seven times. I'm gonna make you fuck yourself. Fuck you, Eddie! You ain't! Hello! I'm working out here! Get out! Get out! Oh. Oh. I thought the Holy Scripture says that the same mouth cannot praise and curse. Fresh and salt water cannot flow from the same spring. So it just requires simple discernment to look beyond what is seen. And yet we have so many Christians saying, Yes, Papa, yes, you are so true. Yes, I will learn from Tyson Fury's faith. Which side are you on? Are you on the Canaanite side or are you on the side of Israel? Now you as a Christian, you will say, I'm, 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 uh, I'm on the side of Israel. No, yes, on the side of Israel. But the Lord says, neither. I'm not on your side or their side. I'm not on the man of God's side or the non-man of God's side. Who is on the Lord's side? Come to the Lord only. So now will you continue to watch this video? Because I know you will not watch John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness. You want to see big churches, then you'll come to watch. That's why I have to put that at the front of the video. And we have people saying that, according to God, Queen Elizabeth is righteous. It is very hard to be righteous in God's sight. It cannot be just because of a vision that you see. Righteous in God's sight. Still legalize gay sex marriage. And in the United Kingdom, other religions are flourishing and booming in the United Kingdom. You, suffering in your country, never watch pornography, pray to God with your whole heart, trust in Him, never lie, never steal, you cannot get a visa to go to UK. A righteous country will have this thing called the born-again Christian visa. In the book of Kings, we read of so many kings sending out Levites to teach. Yet, God still say, King Jehu did not follow the Lord's commands and he was a wicked king, even though he served the Lord. But when Tyson Fury and Queen Elizabeth die, they will now make tribute videos. Tyson Fury, 1980 to 2024. I fought a good fight. I was the heavyweight champion of the world. With a true faith, he fought for Jesus. Such tribute videos. But when you die as a righteous Christian, they never make a tribute video for you. Because to their eyes, you are just another person that needs prayer from them. Come, come, come. You need deliverance. Mm. Mm. But Tyson Fury don't need deliverance. Today. What do you mean to do something? Some will say to me, no, the Queen is not the Prime Minister of UK. She's the President, so she cannot change the law. What? Christianity today have become wealth, popularity, fame gaining glory from one another. They are all disgracing Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul measures his Christianity not by money and fame. He measures his Christianity by, I was shipwrecked two times. I was stoned. I was given 195 lashes, 5 times 40 minus 1. This is the marks of a true apostle. I tell you what a righteous king would do, Josiah. He will remove all the altars 
and make all the people to worship Yahweh. So when Peter make a mistake, God sent Paul to rebuke Peter. Will you now rebuke Paul for rebuking Peter, who is sent by God? The fact that the Lord Jesus rebuked the seven churches in the book of Revelations does not mean that the seven churches are fake. Jesus Christ turned the temple courts upside down, flipped over the money changers, and he rebuked Pharisees to their faces. But to many of you, you have learned that silence is humility. Even when you see somebody making a mistake, you don't rebuke the pastor. Love. Hmm. Even Paul, who is full of love, wrote the New Testament for you. He also say to all the churches, he say, beware of Alexander the metal worker. Don't associate with him. Queen Elizabeth is righteous because you go to UK and you're flourishing and you become a citizen there. Why is it that Jesus can see that God's nation called Israel is not God's nation at all? Because from the beginning of his birth, he had to grow up in Egypt. That now tell him that Israel is not God's nation because he had to grow up in Egypt instead. So people can only see what they can see. Do walk in God's suffering. And you can see that God's kingdom is truly not on this whole earth. And now the son, as a minister of the gospel, is now telling us how to get rich. Get rich now before it is too late. And then put Andrew Tate's face there. And he say, when Elon Musk bought Twitter, learn from Elon Musk because he fired half of the employees of Twitter. So you must do not show mercy. What? As the minister of the gospel, this is why I am firm with my words. What is sin and not a sin is defined. Whether you will die or not die is clearly defined. You think when Jesus said at the judgment seat, he will say this, yeah, you go to heaven. Hooray. Uh, sorry, sir. This one, you, you go to hell. Sorry. No, Jesus will say this. You sinned. I truly do not know you. Get out. Go. Then to the righteous. Well done. You passed the test of the earth. Go to heaven. When I was sick and I was in prison, you took care of me and gave me food and water. Then they will say, Lord, when did we see you in prison and lack of food and water? Whatever you do to these children of mine, said Jesus, you do that unto me. Then those people going to hell, they will have this thought. I saw Jesus in a big church and we are all saying, Praise the Lord, oh my soul. Yes, you cannot praise the Lord when you still do not know God's will. So can you see, by me preaching this sermon, I'm decreasing my popularity. Just as John the Baptist decreased his popularity, he know that he has the power of Elijah. That's what the angel of the Lord told his father and his father grew him up. But when people asked him, are you Elijah? No, I'm not. Are you the Messiah? No, I'm not. Are you the prophet? Even as a prophet, he don't want to be. He's decreasing himself. <laughs> are you the son of T.B. Joshua? Are you this, this so-and-so's uh, mentee? Tell us. Uh, who is your spiritual father? No, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Then why do you baptize? I baptize you on Zoom. But one who is coming after me, that is more powerful than I, whose straps of sandals I cannot even untie, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. We see today many people praising Jesus for whatever good things that have come to their lives. Oh, this is a private jet. I'm inside a private jet. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But you cannot praise Jesus when you are still going to hell. You can only go to heaven when you do God's will. Jesus said, Those who do God's will are my brothers and sisters. And we know that Jesus is the only person that came down from heaven for us to go to heaven. 
So you're only Jesus' brothers and sisters if you do God's will. Three quarter of the people that go to church, they do not even know God's will. So how can they do God's will to go to heaven? Because three quarter of the people that go to church, they have not even finished reading their Bible from Genesis to Revelation at least two to three times. And out of this one quarter of the people who actually did read their Bibles two to three times, three quarter of them come out with their own interpretation of the Bible, not God's interpretation. They rely on man's interpretation and they copy what they learn from men. There is no inspiration from God. The Bible is written by people who have no Bible. Be like Apostle Paul, who did not went to consult Peter, and God used him to write half of the New Testament. And out of this one quarter of these people who actually got the right interpretation, three quarter of this one quarter did not do God's will. They just sit at home. So it is one quarter of the one quarter of the one quarter. It means 99% of the people, they are not making it to heaven, but they are there honoring and protecting their pastors. They do not know what they are up to. Jesus said, No one can come to me unless the Father draws them. Only those whom the Father has drawn close can be included in the heavenly church. Many are called, but few are chosen to be saved for the next world. So this is God's task for us, not to gather as many people as we can to come to the church, but to gather the ones whom Jesus have gathered. Jesus came to seek the lost, not to seek the ones who think that they are already found. If indeed they are already found, they will be able to hear God's voice. They will be connected to Jesus without any man of God. The Father alone draws us close to Jesus, not any intermediary. We have seen pastors spending $50 million on her worldly sexual music career, which claims to promote Jesus through her secular music. And this is on top that her church costs $310 million to build. As I've said in my past sermons, Christ does not need our help, but these pastors are helping themselves. So am I now going to build a church to compete with her? I'm too weak in the flesh to do that. We cannot defeat Satan in his own game. They boast and talk as if they are great. Their boasting of themselves being rich are not from God. Grab a seat of 1,000. If you have it, move forward. No, no, no. If your money cannot buy a Lamborghini, eat it. Raini, ding a ding a ding. Ding-a-ding-a-ding. Even meet with Prophet Lovi one-on-one, but that's going to cost you $350, because as it says, he's a very busy prophet. Prophet John, can I speak with you? Sure, just cough up 300 denarii and I'll set some time aside for you. These people are shameless. Their consciences have been seared as with a hot iron. They now are teaching that fornication is not a sin. Everybody says sex before marriage is a sin, right? There is no verse that says that. While he was married with kids. I am currently eight months pregnant. And the person that I am pregnant for is a prophet named Passion Java. I just regret the person I had a baby with. But once upon a time, we were in love. And that before they pray for you or meet with you one-on-one, -on -one, you must first pay them $500. What have you done with your poverty? What have you done with your poverty? You don't have Jesus in your heart. You want to write and say false prophets. Do, are you a prophet? What? Husband doesn't behave. 
when he drinks alcohol. Well, the prophet person is going to pray right now. And I'm going to declare that no matter how much he drinks, this Christmas he's not going to be drunk. It's done. I'm going to be a living proof that if your husband tries to drink, this alcohol will be alcoholless. If this is how we ought to go to heaven, then I'd rather not go to heaven. Heaven is by faith. Salvation cannot be for sale. The devil came to Jesus Christ in the wilderness. He said, bow down to me and I'll give you all the worldly riches. To their shame, some pastors have bowed down to Satan in exchange for worldly riches. Something that Jesus was smart enough not to concede to. And the temptation of the devil come to Jesus after John baptized Jesus and heaven spoke, saying, This Jesus is my beloved son. And the people around John the Baptist heard this voice from heaven. If you now hear from heaven speaking good concerning Jesus, then now Jesus in the desert bowed down to Satan afterwards in exchange for worldly riches. Would you now still, as a believer, follow that pastor who lives a lifestyle of the devil after you heard the heavens speaking good of him? Everything is a test. Even the channels that exposed false prophets are false themselves. Because no one can defend Jesus if they themselves cannot do and live a life like Jesus did. You heard me saying that beware of preachers who can only preach and cast out demons. Yes, the whole Bible, there's no miracles of casting out of demons, only in the New Testament. And this is the most easiest to fake. You just pray and people fall down to the ground and they shake a bit. The miracles of God did not shift suddenly from all the powerful miracles in the Old Testament to only one miracle in the New Testament of casting out of demons, which can be easily hypnotized. ...to come upon you in a way that is completely... ...time causes the induction to continue to increase. Shake my hand, Bryce. Sleep again. Relax every muscle, every nerve. Go into it further. That's focus. No stress. So are you being hypnotized? You are hypnotized. If after deliverance, you still need deliverance. You saw how that gentle man shook the guy's hand and that guy just fall down to the ground. You saw how that guy waved his hand and the whole crowd collapsed to the ground. It is called a placebo effect. Crowd mentality. I'm here because I want the preacher to make me fall to the ground. Okay, everybody fall to the ground. I tell you the truth. Be like John the Baptist, and you will know whether Christ Jesus will come through which ministry style when he comes back the final time. And I tell you that Christ will not return back to this earth through any of these deliverance-only ministries. If truly you can do deliverance, you tell the demon to go to the pigs and the pigs run down. But you know that you cannot hypnotize pigs. So you only do that on people. Who oh, next week again they need deliverance. The miracles of Jesus is not only making people fall down. Walk on the water. Raise the dead. And living a life of humility. Such preachers will trick you with demonic powers and say that Jesus gave Peter the keys to heaven. Which is true. Then now they say to you that to go to heaven, you must come to Peter, of which they are the Peter. And the keys, you don't look for the keys, you look for Peter as the key. Yeah, Peter himself is the key. Mm. Because remember, Papa, in order... Then how did Paul go to heaven 
Paul did not consult Peter. To go to heaven, you go to Jesus. With such convincing words, they trick gullible men and women. Even Jesus Christ know that he himself cannot help the apostles unless he sent the Holy Spirit to them in place of himself. With the flesh, you can't do anything. Who has realized this? After three and a half years, they are ready. But these people will attend their services forever with their minds only focused on gaining wealth, spiritual powers, and popularity. But they will never have a personal relationship with Jesus. This is why they keep on calling them their spiritual father. Please, help me, guide me, Papa. Even Balaam have so-called prophecy, but he was never part of God's community. He never submitted under the Lord Jesus. Now, if I preach the truth, I will be banned from YouTube because worldly media will ban any person that speaks against the world. Jesus would not have cared about such things and would have gone to preach with or without YouTube. This is why for some time now, you have not seen me caring so much about YouTube. Stay at where Jesus is. Even now, some of your faith are rested on YouTube. Your faith is tossed around by whatever preacher's opinion you see on the internet. And you only watch YouTube channels with at least high amount of subscribers. You still require human testimony. Flee from it, my friends. Let your faith rest on God alone. This is why preachers today, they preach such things like what is the meaning if your tooth is gone in the dream? What is the meaning when somebody cuts your hair in the dream? This is the meaning. Okay, okay. Go so deep in such things, but they still do not know that they are in the mark of the beast. They are still doing business around the world, teaching Satan's so-called deep secrets. Know all these such deep teachings but still do not know whether they can go to heaven. Know which evil spirit is harming them. Spirit of lust, anger, Jezebel, Lilith, Beelzebub. But they do not know which angels are talking to them. Is it Michael, Gabriel, Holy Spirit, Jesus or God? They cannot identify this, but they can identify which evil spirit talking to them. Attending church for 10 years and still asking for career breakthrough and becoming a CEO, whereas they cannot hear God's voice in doing the work of God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall see God. Blessed are the humble, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are you when you cry, when you mourn. But now it is blessed are the rich, for God will bless them with Ferraris. Blessed are the popular ones, for they are like King Davids of the earth. Which is greater, Jesus or David? Jesus is the King of kings, yet he lived his life like this. Follow his life. Your kingdom is in heaven. Yes, you still do not know whether you can go to heaven because you still think that you need deliverance after being delivered the tenth time. You cannot go to heaven if a demon is still in you and you actually believe that a demon is in you. Simply because you have bad luck, you have set back. Why can't you just follow what Jesus say? When you pray to your heavenly father, lock the door behind you and pray to God who is unseen. But now it is when you pray, go and seek other people. When you pray, let other people see that you are praying. Uh, live stream yourself with a pile of prayer requests on the table. Amen. Amen. It's funny that the whole Bible did not talk about speaking in tongues. The Old Testament and even in Jesus' ministry, he did not say speaking in tongues. It's only in the book of Acts, that one verse. When Jesus do miracles, did he speak in tongues? 
You speak in tongues. In a rare occasion, the apostles, they receive the Holy Spirit. They hear God's voice. Then they speak out in tongues. You have not even been filled with the Holy Spirit like in the day of Pentecost, but you're there speaking in tongues. You don't even know what you're praying. Your heart is only asking for family protection, breakthrough, money, blessings, and spiritual powers. The world back then, in the days of Jesus, thought that the Messiah would come at a later stage, and that when he come, he will be a king like David, helping the people and ruling over Rome. But Jesus came at a time when no one expected him to come. And he did not rule over Rome as the people thought he would be. So why do you think to be a pastor today, you have to build the largest church in the world and be popular ruling over the whole earth and shaking hands with presidents? No one is ready to accept Jesus as the Messiah except John the Baptist who is a preacher in the wilderness, and accept unpopular prophets like Simeon and Anna in the Gospel of Luke. Unpopular people. Yes, people think that Jesus will come hundreds of years from now because they are still here acting as if Jesus will not come next year or 10 years later. They are still there focusing on their worldly projects. Whereas they still cannot hear the voice of God, they still cannot prophesy, they cannot do what Jesus do. They are there receiving, prophesy over me, man of God, pray for me, man of God. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, blessed are the one who give rather than to receive. So it is more blessed for you to give by ministering to others, doing what Jesus do, rather than receiving ministration. The mark of the beast has already been implemented. It is only the true Christians who will realize that it has already been implemented because they will realize that they cannot buy or sell many things in this world by following Jesus when they follow Jesus wholeheartedly. So we have pastors condemning another pastor, but they themselves are unable to do what that pastor do. It means that pastor who condemned the other pastor has already condemned himself. Oh, this person is prophesying by the spirit of divination. He's a witch doctor. But the pastor who ridicules that pastor, he himself cannot prophesy. What Satan has is a counterfeit of what God has. Therefore, it is not possible that the pastor can prophesy by Satan's power, as you say when you yourself cannot prophesy by God. No, it is God first and Satan second, not Satan first and God second. So if it is God first, you should be able to prophesy by God. But now you cannot prophesy by God accurately. I'm not talking about you have uh, acid reflux. I'm talking about you have five husbands like Jesus. You cannot prophesy accurately, but you say that that person prophesied by Satan. It's not like this. God enabled Moses to challenge the fake pastors with similar miracles. Turn rod into a snake, they also can do. To the extent they cannot copy what Moses do. God also enabled Samuel to prophesy to Saul accurately. Whereas on your side, you cannot even stand in front of a person and prophesy accurately as God wished to.